What is up, guys? Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video uh, talking about something I recently discovered, and uh, I assume some people have already figured this out. I just didn't notice. Um, well, there's two things I'm going to talk about. Uh, one, I assume people know, uh, figured out already. One that I didn't realize. It could just have been me being stupid, but I wanted to show everybody because I missed it. Um, I'm free to play in this game in Wuthering Waves, as you can see, uh, and I am about to write about the Hidden Union level 42, which I believe is, is the furthest you can pretty much get probably around 41 42 if you've been playing the game free to play without spending money uh and using a certain amount of those refreshes that they give you that they've been giving us for for uh just first time bonuses or um from issues that they've had in the game they've given us free stuff for it uh and it has to do with leveling up characters specifically getting these uh these level up materials <laughs> uh the weapon and skill materials for your weapons or your um fortes here uh, because I've been trying to make three teams for the uh, Tower of Adversity, and it's been very hard. I, my first team is pretty, it's pretty decent. I again, I'm, I'm level forty, well, uni level forty one. So I'm trying to get everybody to, I think at least get their skills and get this first, uh, this these uh, this middle row completed, um, and get everybody skills to level five. Uh, I think that's good enough, and that can beat a majority of the the Tower of Adversity. I haven't gotten to the end end levels yet. Um, but I, I've gotten, I've gotten pretty close. Um, but I have my, my first team of three, I have another team of three, and then my third team of three is very hard, um, with the limited amount of resources I have. So I just wanted to show people two things just in case they don't know about it. The first one I'm going to show you, I assume everybody knows about this, um, if you play the game consistently at this point, which is getting, uh, from basically in the Tiger Maw area. Um, if you're going near the bottom, usually near this boss, um, usually if you go to this waypoint and you just backtrack from the boss, um, you're going to find these crystals. Um, I forgot what the name of them are. I have some here, I believe. Let me show you. Oh, uh, yeah, these crystals, the the, the Lampy Lumens. Um, basically, you get those and you can get about 30 per day, I believe. I believe if you start at the boss, which would be this teleport uh, beacon, um, and you just backtrack your way all the way to the bottom of Tiger's Maw and clear out the entire bottom, including the tunnel on your way back from the boss. Uh, if you teleport here and you uh, go to this merchant, I will show him to you. Uh, okay, he's over here. So, just got to go up these stairs, and he's going to be right up there around the corner, I believe. He is marked on the map with that little uh, little tote bag symbol. Uh, this guy right here, Shilong. Um, basically, uh, if you haven't done this yet, oh, she's talking about the the new event that's currently going out. Uh, I don't believe this refreshes the, the store, but you can get um, you can get upgrade materials from him for every single type. He also has experience for uh, for for weapons if you need that. He has some credits as well and then he has one free four star weapon if you need any of these for any of your characters i don't believe any of these are best in slots for any of the current characters in the game though um but i believe you can get i can't remember how many it was but you get 30 of these 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 things these are lampy lumens per day i believe unless i missed somewhere else that you can farm them or is a spot in the mall i'm missing I, i've been getting 30 per day if i've been doing it consistently and then, uh, I can't remember how many you can get, but you can get a good amount of these, and these are already the Tier 2 ones. So, um, they'll be useful for, for basically around this point of the game, because now you're going to be uh, at the point where you're going to be using um, 3 per skill of the Tier 2 ones, and then you're going to be using the, uh, the Tier 3 purple ones. Um, and I think you can get maybe, uh, maybe, I think 10 each, maybe, for 30, 30. There's 10 of each of these, and it costs 30 Lamprey, because it's, it's 3 per, uh, per 1. But I assume most people know about that because I've seen a lot of people talk about that already. Uh, the other one I want to talk about, which which I, I just missed. Um, I don't know if other people have missed it, but I'm going to go to Jinjo to show you here. Because usually, and I've played other games like, like Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact. And in those games, the uh, blacksmiths are kind of useless other than for crafting if you need to craft anything. Um, usually what they sell is like... like, like, like uncommon like green level stuff that you don't really need to care about like one tier up from the common stuff of uh, the lowest level uh and in the other games like in uh genshin or honkai 
the blacksmith actually doesn't sell anything worthwhile. Uh, pretty, pretty, not even that far into the game. But the blacksmith in Wuthering Waves actually went to a shop today and checked. Um, not only can you get a certain amount of these, which are um, ascension materials for skills and for weapons that you get by just going around the world killing enemies, a majority of the, the normal default enemies just drop these. If you just go around killing them, you probably have enough of these. You can see I have... I haven't even bought these from him yet, and I have like 1,500, 1,500, I have 500 of these, 300, I, I have a good amount of all these. Basic rings are running low, and I don't have to buy these, um, but I'm running low on money, and I don't want to spend any more. Um, but the, and then he sells the weapons like normal, but the interesting thing that I found out is I already bought all these. He sells the, unco or the, the default versions of all the weapon level up skills as well. Uh, I believe he sells, I'm going to say either 10 or 20 of these each so if you guys are running low on on resources like i am and you haven't bought these yet and you got money to spare go into the shop and buy these because they helped me a lot they helped me get my 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 second team um leveled up and they helped me a bit with my third team as well if you're struggling with that assuming you're free to play um and you don't want to spend any of your uh your extra resin refreshes or anything like that but um yeah i just wanted to let everybody know because I've, I've been going around the shops here um or I've been looking around shops just to see, and I just noticed that while I was, I was like, you know what? Let me check this out before I before I stop playing for a day. And I was like, oh, hey, what do you know? He sells uh he sells stuff that 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 you can use to upgrade your materials. So I just wanted to make a quick video on that. Uh, again, I, I assume a lot of people have already found this, and if you haven't, well, now you know. If you watch this video, I just wanted to put that out there because I managed to miss it, and I've done literally everything in the game. I mean, like I've I've hundred percent of the map. I've hundred percent all the regions. Uh, I completed that simulated universe thing, and I'm progressing through. I'm twelve out of thirty right now on the uh, tower of adversity. But I'm uh, again, I'm building my team so I can clear that. But yeah, uh, if you guys like the video, uh, subscribe, leave a comment. If you didn't know about this, uh, let me know if there are other shops that do anything like this. Any other shops I'm missing? Anything like that? But uh, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video about this. So uh, yep, it's gonna be all for me. Take care, guys.